So Tom Barnes here at Photo Kina 2016 with uh, Photo Gear News. Uh, I've been speaking to Carol from Panasonic about the new GH5, which obviously got announced this morning. So Carol, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, and we're just so excited because we have only just heard the specs of our new flagship camera. So the GH5 replacing GH4, and with a set of new uh, specs that this camera can do, which is just brilliant. Mm -hmm. So what we've got is we've got a built on the GH4, we've now moved to 4K 60p recording, and we're re recording that at 4.2.2 10-bit depth. So for video, that's an amazing jump up to the SD card in the camera. Mm -hmm. And then for stills photographers, we've also got some fantastic new bits. We've had 4K photography for a while with, um, with the GH4 and with a number of our other cameras. But now we're moving to 4K at 60 frames a second. And we're also moving to 6K photo at 30 frames a second. Right. So just fantastic for stills photographers as well. So now for people who obviously haven't seen that kind yeah. of announcement before, yeah. that's going to be basically an MP4 file yes. where the frames are yes. extractable. Yes, extractable, but, but it's a bit more than that because everyone can extract already from MP4 video, but the results aren't always very satisfactory because you with video you tend to record at a much slower shutter speed in my language whereas when you're shooting in um, 4k photo mode the photographer is free to set any shutter speed that they like any aperture and any ISO which means that it makes rubbish video but it makes fantastic stills photography that lets us take an individual frame out of that mp4 and extract it out to make a jpeg file right so, so but you can only get jpegs from the file yes yes so you you record mp4 and you extract jpegs okay. so it's just a very efficient use of the card as well because you only you not photographing 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second of jpegs you're recording them as mp4 and then extracting the frames that you need at and they're going to be roughly about eight megapixels is that eight right eight megapixels is what we have already with 4k photo mm -hmm. that's what we do now okay Excellent. so and we'll have them at 60 frames per second okay so launch date obviously not quite sure we don't no, but I've been told that it'll be early next year, early 2017. Okay. So and a price point again, not again, really sure. Again, we've only just heard the specs and we haven't been told the prices. Right. Okay. So okay. Uh, again, I have no idea yet what the price point will be. But it looks to be pretty much a, um, almost identical, to, but like form factor wise to the yeah. GH4. The, the version we're seeing here, and this is the first time I've had chance to see it. So the form factor, as my understanding is, this is the form factor that we'll see. And so, which is which makes sense for a professional level camera. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to have the form factor be very similar to the ones before. Right. So, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Carol, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.